as I said, I had never prayed against the spirit of death before, like going on a mission to pray against death. I had never really uh, been given that as a mission. So on this time, I was counting down days and I was praying. I said then, I had now decided after being given the after being given the revelation about the presence of the spirit of death, I said, I then decided to pray against the spirit to fight. Um, I was praying, I told the person uh, that the spirit was coming for. I told that person that this is uh, the revelation that I got about you. Um, we need to pray because this person was very very close to me so with a, a number of other people we started to pray um, it, mostly um, like family you know and close we started to pray against this spirit and uh, as I was counting down days um, it was getting fewer and fewer days towards that date. I then decided that since it's my first time to pray against, uh, to, be, to be asked to pray against this spirit, I then decided that it would be better if I went, actually if I separated myself and go to a place where uh, there is prayer going on continuously. Uh, in before before uh, before I was told about this spirit, I had been told uh, to talk to tell the world about a certain man of God, because there was a lot of um, bad writings about him. So God had assigned me to talk. To just say a word, put a word out there that this man of God uh, is a man of God and people should instead pray for him uh, instead of going along with the stories that were appearing. So I now thought of that man of God. I said, ah, that is, uh, at least there is a man of God. God actually said to me, he's, he's, he's my servant. So as we were getting to about four or five days, uh, I decided now to tell uh, my sisters, actually, I just texted them. I said, there is uh, something, I am coming there because my sisters are in the country where this man of God is. So I say to them, I am coming there, but uh, don't be surprised if I don't see anyone because I have a mission. This is the mission. There is this spirit that I need to pray against. So um, I, I, I don't know, um, maybe they, they didn't, uh, <laughs> they probably didn't understand what I was talking about because uh, it's only by the spirit that, I mean, you, someone really gets what this is all about. So I bought a ticket, a, quickly bought a ticket online. I took a plane a day before Friday the 13th, because this spirit had said it was coming on Friday the 13th in that year. So I took a plane going to that man of God's place. I knew that this man of God had people coming uh, to get help from him. Uh, and these people, while they are there, they'll be praying. So, and they, they have houses for those people. So I knew at least if I booked myself into that place, 
I'll be in a place where everybody is praying expectantly, like praying for, for results to come. Um, because even if I had booked in on the, I booked in on a Thursday, uh, my flight uh, arrived on a Thursday, a day before Friday the 13th. I was uh, picked up from the airport and I went straight to the have uh, guest houses for their guests. I went straight to the to the guest house and uh, we were told that we won't be able to see the men of God until Monday. That's when you can say a word if you have a word as a guest. So that means that Friday the 13th would have passed. So it was good anyway because the main purpose of the visit was to go to a place where people are praying for, for, for miracle. So I was booked into a guest house and everybody seemed to be so absorbed into their own world praying because each and everyone was expecting a different miracle so i was also praying and when we met for for lunch for dinner or just um, having time to sit down we would just encourage each other to to have more faith in whatever we were going through and other than that everybody was praying so I was praying Thursday, I was praying Friday, Friday I was praying, nothing happened on Friday. As this was my first time to pray against this spirit, I also on my human side was always texting to see if everything is okay with the person that this spirit had said was coming for. And everything was okay. Friday passed, everything was okay. Saturday, and with every day my faith went up and up and up. We were praying. Everybody around me was praying. I was in a prayerful place. And then, um, by this time, I had not even seen the man of God. It was just, it was praying in the environment that was provided, a prayerful environment. Uh, and also the anointing that would go with such an environment. So, glory be to God. So, Friday the 13th passed, nothing happened. So, as God had told me to pray, I found that by prayer, uh, this thing was possible. So Sunday, we were just too busy. Most of the time, the days uh, passed so fast because there was there was programs, pr uh, different prayer programs. So you won't have too much time as well to be thinking about. Uh, what's going on there, what's going on there. So by Sunday, I came, Monday, I was in there. I came out on Monday. Uh, as I came out on Monday, I just had a few days. Um, the prayers had worked about the person this spirit was coming for it did not happen so by prayer the spirit of death you can cancel it you can bring down to zero they can sit down according to isaiah chapter 8 they can sit down in plan they can sit down in discuss for the death of somebody hallelujah this spirit but then it with prayer this can come down to zero it can be cancelled hallelujah uh, 
for years now this person's life is going on this person is still here praising god hallelujah but uh, as i was going to speak about the characteristics of the uh, spirit of death the spirit of death um, you can actually get it off you by prayer even if you are not told that there is a spirit of death if you are a prayerful person as you pray also cancel this spirit also arrest this spirit bind it because the bible says whatever is bound here is bound in heaven hallelujah bind it and uh, give it no room if you deny these spirits any room the bible says they will go they will actually fly away so it is a matter of praying and believing by then with the characteristics of this spirit one of the characteristics of this spirit is that it can also look if it cannot get the person that it is it, it was looking for in the first place. It can also look on, on, a, on a place where it can go. Uh, it can be within the bloodline. The blood it can be within the same settings. It is a very aggressive spirit. So it will look for a place where it can cause the same impact it was going to cause where it has been denied entry. It can look for another entrance close by where Where people are not aware of it, usually uh, it's where people are not aware of it or are not aware of evil spirits that much that they relax in the way they pray. Hallelujah. I am not talking about death that is um, that comes upon every person, but I'm talking about death which cuts the life of a person. So with this, this is the this is what is called the spirit of death. With this kind of death, the key is prayer. You can cut it off. You you can cut it off. Uh, whoever has it by prayer, and also by joining hands with other people in prayer, if you can. but everyone else should always be in prayer because in these end times the blood sucking spirits are out there in full force they are out there in increase they are looking for the blood of people be it we have knife a uh, crimes going on we have gun crimes going on we have um, addictions going on we have all sorts of things it could be it could be like obesity or overeating things like that going on uh, by our uh, there are ways of of avoiding this a spirit of death and there are ways to avoid the spirit of death in the first place you have to be able to have to know its characteristics to know some symptoms and see that this could be the spirit of death in my next video i am bringing the characteristics of the spirit of death 
that God gave me. And then I will expatiate on that in the following videos. But first, I will be reading exactly the characteristics that God gave me that people should look out for. Hallelujah. We can pray against this spirit. Hallelujah. It is raising havoc in these end times and there is no need for us to lax and watch. But we have to conscientize each other. We have to, 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 to lift each other in prayer. Hallelujah. We can pray. We can do it. Hallelujah. We were born to pray. Therefore, we, there is no way you cannot say you cannot pray. We can pray. Hallelujah. We cannot say during the day, uh, prayer is not good. Prayer is not good. And when something massive happens, even the people that say during the day, prayer is not good. Turn around and then say, let's pray for him. How come during the day you say prayer, prayer is not, it's not good to encourage or to talk about prayer? Talking about prayer has to become fashionable like it has always been with, with, um, with generations before us. Generations before us spoke about prayer just like the, how we speak about prayer. Um, just like how we speak about uh, socializing on the internet, just like how we speak about uh, texting each other on WhatsApp, or just like how we take selfies. This, this is how prayer has always been with generations before us. Our mothers' mothers, our, our fathers' fathers and their mothers, they, they were very... Uh, strict on prayer they lived on prayer and they were not scared to talk about prayer to encourage prayer and i'm here today i'm saying let's get back to those days the way and and live a prayerful life a, a lifestyle that is full of prayer that is directed by prayer based on prayer hallelujah because the times uh, the times are are getting more and more unsafe but with prayer we can avoid the spirit of death cutting away lives I'm coming with the characteristics of the spirit of death uh, which the Holy Spirit has told me to share. Then I will give a, an expansion on that after I've given you word to word what I've been told about the characteristics. So that when you see these characteristics uh, on the person that you love or on yourself, you know that this is the spirit of death. And then you can start dealing with that spirit. Hallelujah. You can start praying against that spirit. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Amen.